Hey, it's Josephine from The Point Shop. I'm in Los Angeles, California right now, and I'm so lucky that I got to catch Matisse because she's here from Russia. My favorite. I love her so much. I love her so much. So, <laughs> so she's actually our official 2015 Point Shop model. 2015 already? I know, I can't oh believe God. it. It's so Four crazy. Four years ago. I know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so she was at Bolshoi for training, mm -hmm. and then now she's still dancing in Russia. She's at the, the Russian Ballet Theater, and she's going to show us how to prepare your point shoes for performance mm -hmm. and how to pancake your shoes because you need different colors for different things. Yes, we do. So first of all, what kind of point shoes do you wear? I wear Gainer Mindens. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so to make them obviously not dirty, well, for ballets like Don Quixote and Spartacus and um, what else do we do? Well, different ballets like that, we need nude point shoes because we wear nude tights. Mm -hmm. And so I, we dancers in Moscow, we just pancake our shoes with literally regular face foundation mm -hmm. face foundation you just take a little bit with a sponge here like this and that's a makeup sponge too yeah this is the best and you can use this for your face but not, not. And you don't just, use the same sponge for your face and your shoes yeah and you just pancake your shoe and you can do it i've done i pancake these shoes probably like five times because sometimes it wears out wears off so mm -hmm. that's what you do to make them nude and then you just set them aside leave them to dry and then they're good. It's what it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> and and also if you're using the same foundation as your face, then like it's totally the same color. Yeah, it's great. So, yeah. <laughs> so it's like easy to color match mm -hmm. and make sure that like it's the right color and everything. So it's great. Yes. So they have point makeup or like point shoe pancake for uh, for your point shoes, but you can obviously wear your normal foundation too. That's what I do. I yeah. what I do. Yeah. So everybody in Russia <laughs> does that apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and then to make them whiter, to make them cleaner on stage because all our tights are like pink white mm -hmm. um, well that's just in Moscow they don't really like when our shoes are so shiny you know when we get a new pair of Gainer Mindens they're so pretty and pink and mm -hmm. shiny but on stage it like brings too much attention to our feet that's and true <laughs> our teachers always say you have bad feet so yeah. might as well just make it not so <laughs> noticeable so they're when, very blunt over yes there. <laughs> we, do, we do like almost a kind of light light foundation very very white they also sell it at Block. I think we sometimes mm -hmm. use the Block White Foundation, face foundation. And then I just use regular powder or like a specialized white powder to make them not so shiny. And you just put a little powder and there you go. Boop. Mm -hmm. Make it not so shiny and there you go. With tights, it looks really good on stage. <laughs> when you're using powder, mm -hmm. you don't have to really let it dry or anything. No, 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 no. It's like already That's dry. perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the foundation, because it's liquid, yeah. how long did you leave it? Only like for about an hour or two, and it's good. Like I would do that to my shoes in the morning, and I'll be good to dance 7 p.m. show. That's true. <laughs> so it's great. Yeah. That's so good. Mm -hmm. So in Gainer Mindens, too, they don't actually change when you put liquid on it, but if you're using regular point shoes, and if you mm -hmm. put liquid foundation on it, it does change a little bit. So a lot of people that use um, pancake for their point shoes, I think like a drier powder is better for regular point yes, shoes. Yes, like Russian Point and Grishko because I wore Russian Point and Grishko as well. That's I true. know. Self like all of those, I know. They will change. Even like a little bit of water, I don't know what. The whole <laughs> shoe will change, so you have to be really careful. That's true. Try it with a dead pair of point shoes, see how it works, and then go to your shoes that you'll be dancing with. But uh, those for those who wear gainers, I mean, you guys know gainers. Are, <laughs> they're gainers. You can put them in the washing machine, you can put liquid on them, and they're great to go. So. That's true. Yeah. Have you ever had to color your point shoes like a completely different color like red and blue? Yes, and yes. Um, actually when I was when I was 13 on the show Bunheads oh. and uh, I was a I think I was a, I don't even I was a duck or a bumblebee I something yellow. This. I was a bumblebee. I was a bumblebee and I had to we had to paint our this is I was still wearing Grishkos actually and we had to paint our point shoes bright yellow and then in Moscow, we had to paint them black because we were in black tights. We had to paint them black for Carmen. Mm -hmm. We did Carmen. And what did you use to paint it black? Spray. Spray. We use spray. Easiest way to do it. Yep. <laughs> it's so great because if you have like a red or a black spray can, you can just spray it. Mm -hmm. And some companies actually offer black or red point shoes as a custom. It takes a little bit longer, but you can get that. Gainer Minden certainly has those, and I know Grishko has them as well. You can order them custom in different colors, mm -hmm. but if you don't have a point shoe, or if you're in a pinch and you just need to color the shoes that you have for Nutcracker or whatever, you can just use spray paint. It's so fast and so easy. Mm -hmm. But again, if you dye your point shoes, if you spray paint your point shoes, if you dab them with liquid foundation, then the shoe does change because it is liquid. 
uh, unless you're wearing gainer mendants. <laughs> so and don't forget to do the ribbons oh my and gosh, the elastics as well. Because I forgot once. <laughs> and I was in class and we had nude tights and I had great, amazing, brand new, painted new point shoes <laughs> and pink elastics and ribbons <laughs> and I got yelled at. So don't forget, that's a big pointer. <laughs> Whatever you're using may not uh, take with your point shoe ribbon very well. Mm -hmm. So you can also just buy point shoe ribbon with yeah, that color. Yeah, they have so many different colors. Mm -hmm. yeah, but, mm -hmm. So there's like red and black that you can order from Grishko or Gainer Minden, mm -hmm. or you can just go to like a fabric store. Oh and yeah, get like a different There'll color. There will be so many different color ribbons. In yeah, it. <laughs> exactly. So th those are the different ways that you can color your point shoes. I'm sure at some point in your dance career, you will have to either pancake your point shoes, dye them a different color. So be cognizant of that that your shoes do change. <laughs> but give that give yourself enough time so that you, your shoes actually stretch back out to your foot shape then you should be totally fine. <laughs> I'm just excited that Matisse is here right I'm so now. Thank you so much. She's amazing. If you guys want to check her out, she's on Instagram at Matisse Love. Yes. <laughs> and if you want to check her out and um, other places, you can just look her up on Google. She's amazing. Oh she's God. actually just on Doctors. Oh, so it's a you. national syndicated show. Thank you so much. And gorgeous, and she's always been this sweet. So oh, it's God. like, no. well, you, Josephine's our national <laughs> fairy godmother. So thank you so much for having me. She's the best, and we love you. We love the point shop. Big I fans. love you too. Everyone <laughs> in Moscow knows about you. So. Oh, yeah. that's so sweet. <laughs> it's in the point shop. <laughs> well, thank you so, so yeah. much, Matisse. Thank you I so much. Love you so much. <laughs>